Hi everybody, welcome to My Big Tidy Up. My name is Dee Dee. If this is your first time joining me, well, welcome aboard. You have picked a fabulous day to click on. I am so excited about today's project. Now, I am doing decluttering and organizing in a massive way. You have no idea what you're gonna see behind this door in this closet. But for you tidy uppers, if this doesn't look familiar, it shouldn't. I am not at home. I am on location. It is my big tidy up to go today. I am in the home of a young family. They have children. They have fur babies. They are busy and active professionals in their community. And I am here to get this closet to give them a little bit of organization. Now in this closet, they keep a lot of things. There's cleaning supplies. There's home goods. You name it. When I open this door, you're going to see it. Well, we're going to do a system for them and get them organized and get them on the right track. So I appreciate you joining me today. Get ready for some major decluttering and organizing. I am happy you're here. So let's get tidy. Well, here is today's Tidy Up On The Goes project, this massive closet. Now you can already see at first glance, this is a very large closet with a variety of items that need to be stored in it. The one great thing about this closet is it is so large and it already has strong established shelving. Now the homeowners did have a system set up at one time. They had various baskets, but you can see they've kind of outgrown their system. Our goal today is to change the system, get everything off the floor. We'll be doing a major decluttering. We'll be organizing with new containers, clear containers that they can see all of their products. And we're gonna have to divide this up into zones because they have a wide variety of things that need to be stored in this closet. So I'm ready to tackle this and get this this closet tidy. My game plan for today is to take everything out of this closet and move it to this adjacent room right next to the closet. Now, if I'm doing a decluttering project at my home, sometimes I'll just do it shelf by shelf or drawer by drawer so I don't get overwhelmed. But since this isn't my home and I'm not really familiar with everything that's in these baskets, I'm just gonna take everything out. I'm gonna load it on the bed as a work surface. What I don't fit on the bed, I'll load to the floor and then I'll go through everything and try to sort it.
You can see as I'm unloading this, this is the true definition of a multi-purpose closet, and I absolutely love multi-purpose closets. This family is able to use this closet for extra linens for this side of the home. They use it for their cleaning backstock, their self-care and beauty backstock. They're able to keep first aid and medicine all in this closet. And so once we get a good system set up, this is gonna be their go-to place for everything they need. Well, the closet has been emptied, and here is everything that's come out of that one closet. Now, I did speak to the homeowners because I wanted to get an idea of things that they used on a frequent basis, and then the things they really didn't use. And I'm gonna try to organize accordingly and put the things way up high that they don't use that often. A lot of this stuff will be going back in, but a lot of it won't. These items here will not be going in. This bedding, it's going underneath the guest bed. These white linens, the homeowners are gonna go through, and this milk crate is full of painting clothes. So they've decided they're gonna declutter this, downsize those painting clothes, and they're gonna take those to the garage, and they're to be kept with the painting supplies. Although the closet looked very clean, I thought while it's unloaded, I'll give it a quick wipe down and vacuum because I definitely didn't want to load it and then notice it needed to be cleaned. Well, the closet is cleaned and so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and open all these containers and kind of take them in the closet and place them and get them kind of organized without anything in it. It just works better for me to each their own. Some people may just take each container, fill it, and then go place it in their space they're trying to organize. But for me, it works just a little bit better if I do a dry run and kind of place my containers, check my spacing, and then I'll start dividing all of this up into zones and we'll get this closet put together. Now for this particular decluttering and organizing project, I am gonna be using the home edit storage containers. They are a little bit more expensive, but you do get what you pay for and they are very strong. They can hold a lot of heavy items and this family likes to buy in bulk and has large bottles of supplies. So I wanted something that I felt could hold up in this large closet but I did bring some plastic shoe boxes with lids that I got from Walmart and they average a dollar a piece and that includes the lid. So either way, just depending on how big your items are, you can do a wonderful organization project with just things from Walmart or the Dollar Tree as well.
I just finished the rough sort and so I put all the candles and fragrance items, they're all grouped together. Um, here's your first aid. I found some miscellaneous baby items. I put the medicine and supplements all together. This is kind of their back stock, um, extra body wash, extra cleaning products, um, some Jaws products in that box. Small appliances I've kind of put together here. Um, everything for your teeth, hand sanitizer, these are more like what I would think of as spa items. And this is a miscellaneous basket I need to speak to the family about. These are all health and beauty, self-care. And then I've still got the towels. They do want those back in the closet, so I'll be folding those, see if we can get them in a little bit more efficiently and make some more room for them. Well, believe it or not, what you're looking at is the most challenging part of this whole declutter organization closet makeover, and that was getting these beach towels organized. I tried rolling them, I tried folding them several ways, I tried putting them on different shelves, and I just couldn't get the look I was going for. But after speaking to the homeowner, she felt that it would be convenient if they were actually lower at the bottom of the closet so they could just grab them and go. So they'll be placed in a storage container on the floor and they'll be right below the skincare and sunscreen and things that they'll need to take with them when they go out to a pool.
Well, Tidy Uppers, that's it for today. Mission accomplished. Tidy Up on the Go has come and taken care of this closet. It has been decluttered and organized, and I just love how it turned out, and I'm hoping the family feels the exact same way. Now, if you like this style of video and you'd like to see Tidy Up on the Go again, just leave me a comment and let me know. I appreciate you guys being here today. Thanks for supporting my channel. Take care of yourself, and until I see you next week, stay tidy.